Hi, YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, I wanted to uh, catch this real quick of the steam um, coming up from the different geysers. Yeah, look how dark that is, huh? some of them. You know, they got this crack that runs down through here. Um, Yeah, it looks dirty off over here. I don't know if they'll move the camera. They were talking about the snow that had melted overnight. Um, and it's only 24 degrees there right now. It was about one degrees this morning when I started watching it. Many of you who do follow me do understand that for the particles of the rock to melt and to come up with the steam, that water under there has got to be heated and it's heated from the magma underneath to up over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, look at that. There's been screaming going on at Denny Creek, uh, Maple Creek, um, earthquakes, things like that. I'm going to show you that to you. All right, I downloaded four different monitors. On the left here is Denny Creek. This is Holmes Hill next to it. Um, next in line, going towards the right, is Maple Creek. And then I have Soda Butte. So let me make Denny Creek much larger. Yeah, we got a lot of screaming going on. A lot of earthquakes. Now, this is the area where Yellowstone, when it had its last major eruption. There's been 40 smaller eruptions, at least, since its last major, major eruption. But this is the area where it started the unzipping. And those of you that follow me will know what it means by screaming. All right, this is the uh, earthquake signature. Let me try and make that bigger for you. Um, the most significant of when I pulled the files. Look at that. Look at the magma that came up. The hot gases, the hot water. This is why it's showing the black steam. Look at the line of melt. Yeah, they call them sills. Kind of think of a, a window sill, the bottom of a window. Um, this sill is where the magma is melting and gathering. The uh, magma has been going horizontally because it can't go up um, past that rhyolite cap. That rhyolite cap is preventing the eruption of the magma. We have another small sill here, one there, and then another one. So... We got one, two, three, four. And you'll remember um, we have melt that they are, are now emitting to between 15 and 20 percent. They know or they say that for the next eruption to occur, they need um, 30 percent melt. So, yeah, I was looking at this when I was pulling the files and it's like, oh, my goodness, more I pulled it all the way up until Sunday. Yeah. Um, let me pull it up here. Look at this up here. This is yesterday. This is what it was showing yesterday. Look at that. It's like, oh my goodness. Now, it's shown the screaming, the magma coming in, um, in the past, but not like it's showing within the last... 24 hours. Let's go to the seismic signature and look at that. Yeah. All right. We'll go back to the uh, spectrogram. The spectrogram actually is uh, more telling. It's like, oh my goodness. And then what do we got here? Let me pull this over. Yeah, we had several earthquakes and yeah, look at the heat. Look how far that heat came up. This is between 1 and 10 hertz. Okay. All right. Now I want to take a look at the uh, earthquake signature. Let's pull it right there. Yeah, see, we got harmonic tremors. Okay, let me go back over here. and Try and make it larger so we can see this. Yeah, I don't think it'll go much bigger for me. Um, yeah, harmonic and volcanic tremors. Uh, more than likely, what is going on? There's a crack. Dyke intrusion, where a crack opens up, kind of like what was going on there in Greenland. Um, but this crack is still under the ground. 
And Magma has found a conduit and is trying to come up. Yeah, it's like, wow. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we'll go back to the spectrogram. So I noticed here we had a little bit of jiggly line, a thickening of the line, so I made that bigger. This is volcanic tremors. Yep, this is what it does prior to an eruption, and who knows when it's going to erupt. Yep, look at that. All right, let's go down here. See what we're showing here. See that? Oh, my goodness. Yep, this is not good, you guys. Yep, now this here is harmonic tremors. All right, here's some information from USGS. It says, how can we tell when a volcano will erupt? An increase in the frequency and intensity of felt earthquakes. Well, we've been having magnitude twos and larger, which they never, never used to have, except maybe on a very rare occasion, but that's happening more and more. Uh, a subtle swell of the ground surface, small changes in heat flow, changes in the composition or relative abundance of uh, volcanic gases. Another example of um, migrating Yellowstone swarm activity occurred in 2008 and 2009 in northern Yellowstone Lake. This energetic swarm exhibited an extraordinarily high migration rate of one kilogram um, or yeah, one kilometer, excuse me, a day, and it's interpreted to be associated with magma injection along with pre-existing vertical fractures, like I said, dike intrusion, at a volcanic rate of up to uh, five millimeters per second. This process produced a succession of migrating swarm fronts. Uh, very few repeating earthquakes were identified. And the authors concluded that the sequence was initiated by volcanic pressurization that caused the generation of new fractures. The ground is getting really brittle. What else do I got down here? Yeah, and see it came from, I'll give you a link to this. Thought I would check the image. Yeah, this pool down here in the Firehole River has been showing uh, heated activity for a while now but yeah it's really steamy you can see across over here so if you go to the paper the link that I'll provide for you see this yeah harmonic and volcanic tremors and they have the date of when this was going on and see here we got the Mallard Lake resurgent dome and this is the area uh, where they were picking up these seismic waves. Here we have um, Old Faithful that they're looking at. This is the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. So when they turn the camera to the left, they're looking down um, to the back of the upper geyser basin. And yeah, further, oh, north, I guess it would be, was where all that activity is go was going on and is going on right now. All right, for those of you that are new, this is the area where they've been having all the earthquake swarms. Over here, right here, is Maple Creek. Over here is Denny Creek. This is the one that's been showing the magma, all the magma coming in and just rocking in and rolling. Here we got Denny Creek again. Pull that up. Um, this is the area where uh, one of the two plumes comes into Yellowstone. And over here is the uh, Snake River Plateau as it erupted and came in through this location. Let me bring it back in. This is Hedgen Lake. And here we got, let's see, that's Maple Creek. And this one here is Holmes Hill. But this is the area where it started... Um, yeah, the unzipping, and it did its counterclockwise eruption coming all the way down here. This is the uh, Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. And then when it got down here by Heart Lake, that's when both Resurgent Domes collapsed at the same time, and then they had their 
super eruption. Mallard Lake is right there and Sour Creek is, is right up over here. So going back over here, um, yeah, Denny Creek is showing a lot of intrusion coming in. This is by the west entrance, uh, close to the area where all those buffalo, uh, yeah, I don't know if they were leaving the park or what, but yeah, 13 of them, um, were killed either from being struck by, uh, two cars and one truck. Um, and then many of them had to be euthanized. I'll give you a link to this also. Here it says, uh, linking volcanic seismic signals with subsurface processes is critical to improving the forecasting of volcanic eruptions. One of the most enigmatic sig signals is shallow volcanic tremors, a highly periodic ground vibration that is typically sourced beneath the crater of active volcanoes. It is long lasting from minutes to years, appears during unrest periods and frequently precedes eruptions. Okay, and it talks about the uh, band between 1 and 10 hertz. And they have an image here too showing that. All right, and here's another image talking about um, volcanic tremors. And I'll give you a link to this paper also. Looks very similar, does it not? Let me go to um, the spectrogram. And then we'll go to, um, yeah, yeah. Here we have Maple Creek, which is close to the same location. Yeah, volcanic and harmonic tremors. Let's take a look at this one. That one looks more like the, the fault opening up. And let's go to this one here. I'll make that bigger. Again, the fault opening up. More cracking. Yeah, the ground is getting really, really brittle. Let's take a look at the spectrogram. Oh, let's go over here where, where, where it was getting really thick. I'll have to make that bigger. Okay, there we go. Yeah, not good. Not good what's going on. This here is the largest of the activity that was going on. Now, this was yesterday, and this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, not good. Now, I pulled Soda Butte because in the past it was showing screaming, but I don't see that right now. I haven't seen it in probably, oh, two weeks, I want to say. I'll have to make that smaller. Okay. Yeah, it's calmed down up over there. Now, the Soda Butte is the uh, northeastern side of Yellowstone. Yeah, you pull it up a little bit farther. Yeah, it's pretty quiet over there. All right, Holmes Hill. Let's pull this and see what that's showing. We got a few quakes. This was yesterday. Let's go to the spectrogram. And what it was showing when I pulled the files. Okay. Make that bigger. Yeah, it looks more like, um, yeah, cracking. More cracking going on. Yeah. Okay, and I'll show you, for those of you that might be new, let me go up here and see what it was showing yesterday. Yeah. Go to the uh, spectrogram. Again, this is Holmes Hill. Let me come down a little bit. I want to go up over here where it's pretty thick. Yeah, the line of melt right there. Pockets of melt. Let's look at the seismic signature. Pull that. Yeah, more popping, more cracking. It's cracking. The ground is getting really brittle look how long and deep those are yeah continuous now this was all probably about 10 hertz it looks like let me come over a little bit 
Uh, let me pull this over so you can see it. See, it goes dips down to about one, again, one to ten hertz. Yeah, but mostly in the ten hertz. Another paper that I'll give you links to, tectonic like earthquakes, um, deep earthquakes, those located away from the volcano, see sharp points, um, sharp arrival similar to tectonic. Okay, and then we got shallow earthquakes, shallow volcanic earthquakes. Shallow earthquakes located under the dome at depths of less than three kilometers which produce medium to low frequency seismic arrivals. And then we got surface events and then we got harmonic tremors. I'm just going to jump down to harmonic tremors. Harmonic tremors, which is a long lasting, very rhythmic signal whose origin is not well understood, which is often associated with active volcanoes. Again, USGS. They didn't even know about harmonic tremors until after Mount St. Helens erupted. What was that? 1981, I believe. Anyways, you can see all the snow down here. This melted because of the ground. Um, yeah, not too bad at Old Faithful right now. The people that are at the park come in by snowmobiles right now. It's not open for um, cars or trucks or anything like that. Um, only by snowmobile can you get in. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Very concerning. Uh, what are your thoughts about this? Yeah, 2023 is going to be a very interesting year. Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. And please share my videos. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.